All right, welcome back to the Malapert Smart Podcast. If we talk pro wrestling here, modern pro wrestling, sometimes classic, but today we might not have time to go into some older wrestling. We want to talk about AEW from this past week. For this, I got Vlad, the wrestling expert. Say hello, Vlad. Hello, everyone. I have returned again to discuss my favorite wrestling company, AEW. Oh, yeah. And we also got Robert back on the show. Robert Toe. W is his handle on social media. Say what's up. What's up, guys? Glad oh, yeah. Back. All right. These are some major wrestling fans here. We just discussed Survivor Series, which was also on the same day as this collision show on November 25th. So this was running opposition. It was on at the same time. This show got pretty bad ratings, right, Vlad? I think probably they're down under 300,000, I, mean, I think. Uh, Obviously I up against... A free WWE pay-per-view, it's going to be hard to pull some ratings yeah. in that case. But yeah. I'm going to take a quick peek as we're talking. But we haven't done a collision review in a while. I don't really want to go through the whole episode in detail, but I'll just yeah. mention a, a couple things. Yeah. 317,000 people. So yeah, not good. Okay. There was a free WWE pay-per-view on at the same time. Basically free, $5 a month, I think it is. It's basically free, yeah. I think. It's like a cup of coffee. Let's see if anything happened on that show. AEW, they just lost CM Punk. They lost him to the opposition to WWE, so they're going to have to carry on now without him and see what they could come up with. This is how the show started today. Collision. Yeah. Oh, Kingston. So we're doing this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, everybody... You know, I'm really starting to dislike Eddie Kingston, I will say. He does this horrible thing on his interviews, his backstage interviews now, because I watch Ring of Honor too, and he's been the Ring of Honor champion. And he does this thing where he's like annoyed that he's having an interview. He's like, yeah, okay, we're starting, we're doing this. All right, fine, let's just do it. Come on, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're doing this thing, right? Yeah, yeah, Hey, everybody, we're here at Collision. Hey, we're ready for a fight. Let's <laughs> hurry this up, man. Brody, I'll see you out there, partner. You see? Oh, my God. I don't know. It just seemed very unprofessional to me. I think he needs to act more serious. I think some of the, a lot of things that people used to talk about him on the indies are coming out since he's getting a lot of airtime these days. I'm just going to mention that about Eddie Kingston. I've been disappointed with his recent run. Now, he's gotten a good run because people think he's a good talker, but I think he's been disappointing. Moving on to the next thing. Okay, so Luchasaurus. He was just minding his own business, having a match against a two-on-one match, I think, against the boys. And Edge comes out. I don't know if you have been watching AW Robert, on Dynamite before this. We reviewed a segment, crazy segment, with Edge and Christian and Nick Wayne's mom and everybody, and they were about to destroyed Nick Wayne's mom and they were going to concerto her and Edge saved her. So this was the continuation of this. Edge showed up on Collision to beat up Luchasaurus and give him Kill Switch. Oh yeah, Kill I'm Switch. sorry. You know what? Good point. <laughs> Good point. Kill Switch is right. So Edge showed up. That's a star on Collision. Okay. At least they got somebody to show up for this show. No CM Punk anymore. He did after this challenge Christian. So there you go. Here it is. So he challenges them to a match for not this coming Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. So we're going to talk about Dynamite too. That could be a pretty interesting matchup. TNT title match, Edge and Christian. Okay. So they set that up here on Collision. Oh, I, I wanted to mention this. So I don't know if you guys noticed this on the show. So after this House of Black match, I forgot who they fought. They fought somebody. Let me see. They fought, oh, Gravity and uh, Commander. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, that's not the point, Vlad. All right, I skipped that match. We're not wa we're not watching that match. But after this, there was going to be a backstage pre-recorded promo with Darius Martin and Action Andretti. This is going along the lines of that angle that they've been running on Collision with the production botches. Production team keeps fucking up. So, they're going to play this video... And it's gonna get cut off right in the middle, like by accident. So well, months. That's how long it's been since Darius and I have been teaming up together. And Darius, you know, these past eight months, I feel like <laughs> we are coming. That's it. So, they went, <laughs> so they went to commercial yeah. by accident. They screwed up. Wow. Okay, so they had to acknowledge this because usually when they screw up, they just make it an angle. They're like, all right, well <laughs> I'm kidding by the way. This is Probably not an angle, I don't think. So later on in the night, FTR was having a match, and Tony Schiavone is going to 
have to mention that this happened earlier in the show. To take out one half of the former AEW Tag Team Champions. And fans, we understand that TNT went to commercial ahead of their queue earlier tonight. Cut off the end of Dante Martin's great come comeback promo. So we're going to show you that again later tonight. Coming up right after this match. So stay tuned for that. It was quite a moment. And of course, we're heading to Minneapolis. So they're like, all right, you know what? Sorry about that, guys. If you were invested in that, we're going to show it to you later. So here it is. Eight months. That's how long it's been since Darius and I have been teaming up together. And Darius, you know, these past eight months, I feel like we've grown such a bond together. We've had so many great opportunities, and it's been great teaming up with you. And you know, I heard that this Wednesday, Dynamite is returning to your hometown in Minneapolis. Yeah, man, we have been building a lot of chemistry. That's right. But it seems like there's something just a little bit off. And I think I know what that might be. Oh, Dante Martin is back, bro. Dante Martin. Flight. I'm back. So they totally ruined Dante Martin's return. They totally botched it. <laughs> so I was pretty disappointed in that. <laughs> After everything Dante Martin went through, For the if you guys didn't see, but this is a replay that they showed on Wednesday of Dante Martin breaking his leg backwards at this Ring of Honor show that nobody watched nobody was there for really so he's been gone since this whole thing so that was a little disappointing <laughs> that the production team <laughs> and tony yeah, shivani yeah. announced it he was like yeah dante martin made his return but we fucked it up so we're gonna show it to you later <laughs> so that was a little disappointing but okay sometimes we do have to do our <laughs> moments where we shit on AEW a little bit so that was that was a moment and also i guess since we watched it that action and tready Darius Martin dialogue that they had was so bad. He's like, yeah, man, we have been making so much chemistry together, man. But maybe if we had one more guy, it would be much better, huh? Oh, my God. Okay, so this is a little vision of the future of AEW without MJF and anybody. It'll be just like this, I guess. Well, I'm just going to say something real quick. I didn't even know these guys were a tag team. I, I, I didn't know that Dante Martin has been out. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> if I was AEW, I would have just pretended like the segment never happened and <laughs> been thankful, been thankful that it went to commercial and forgot uh, all about it. And I would no. run it again. I would have been like, I would have been like, screw it. It's not even worth it. It's Dante Martin. Who gives a shit? They had to you know, show it. Was... They had to show it. They're like, bro, you're not going to believe this, but we fucked up. We had a really cool thing. <laughs> We're sorry, man. We're going to show it again, though, later. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that, definitely not the first time that's happened, but Jesus. Yeah, that, okay. You know what? That, I have to say that that's actually pretty entertaining, that, that screw up. <laughs> <laughs> well, intentionally entertaining. <laughs> I know. I feel bad too. AEW's already reeling. They're in trouble. You know. I don't want to point out things like this to make them look <laughs> bad, but it is entertaining in some uh, weird, bad way that they're kind of amateur hour. It's another reason that uh, Punk probably uh, left. But they're doing their best. The poor guys. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to do that. But the last yeah. thing from this collision, I would want to mention. I guess we could go to Big Bill and Ricky Starks. They're giving them some in-ring promo time to talk. I think I liked Big Bill. Let's let's hear some of Big Bill. Me and Bill don't even know each other that well. Bill, when's my birthday? No idea. Exactly. But what I do <laughs> know is that you two aren't built like him. Four years ago, when I was in and out of the emergency room having seizures from alcohol withdrawal, I always knew I'd make it back to the top. You always got to mention, he used to be an alcoholic, huh? When I couldn't get out of bed and I was at the lowest point in my entire life, I always knew I'd make it back to the top. Talk to him! Talk to him! Come on! Yeah, and when let's hear nobody it. believed in me and everybody counted me out and they said, he's washed, he's done, he'll never make it back to professional wrestling, I always knew. I'd make it back to the top. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Doing his best to put his guy over, huh? That's all on you, baby. 
Ricky Starks is and fantastic. And standing by the way. in this ring with this guy with these titles, I'd say I was right. I made it back to the top. This is the best mic work he's ever done. Huh. Now, Chris and Kenny, we know all about you. We're very aware of all the accolades, and you two are two of the best to ever, ever do this. But I don't think you two realize what you're dealing with. We are angry, we are motivated, and we're not only going to beat the living hell out of you, we're going to embarrass you. <clears throat> Kareem and Magic, Shaq and Kobe, Jordan and Pippin, or, or Pippin and Jordan. But when I look at you two, Chris and Kenny, I don't see Jordan, I don't see Pippin, I don't see Kukoc, I don't see Kerr, I don't see Longley, I don't see Rodman, I don't see Harper, and I sure as hell don't see Bill freaking Wennington. Oh shit, he went, through the, he went down the whole Chicago Bulls roster from you two, 1996. All I see are the dudes that hand Michael Jordan his Bazooka Joe bubblegum before starting lineups are introduced. I don't even Damn. watch basketball, and I know that all those people are really good. And I also know two things. One guy tells everybody that he's the best, and the other actually is. After you are done with me and Big Bill, I'm going to let you know one thing. Ricky Starks likes his gum minty fresh, and Big Bill likes his big red, baby. Hmm. What? Okay. That was good. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. I think they could be doing some more with this airtime. They're being gifted with an extra two hours of collision. You want to say anything about these promo, Vlad, with Big Bill and Ricky Starks? Yeah, yeah, this was good. This was fine. I mean, they're, was... They're, like, Ricky. Yeah, this was good. No, th no this was good. This Ricky Starks is is great on the mic, and as far as oh well, of course, the Laura is here to, 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 to say. <laughs> That's to, it. She's she's and, taking over the show. And now my train of thought is gone. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> she's hypnotizing me. Uh, Laura, she the destroyer. She's a destroyer. Yeah, Laura, the destroyer. Yeah, but no. Uh, I mean, look. Now there's not a lot to work with, angle-wise and booking-wise. But you have to find a way to to stick out. And Ricky Starks is doing a great job. They're giving him something at the very least, which is more than they were giving him earlier on. He's kind of being featured on Collision. Big Bill, like I said, is great next to. Ricky Starks. Together, they make a pretty good duo. I've enjoyed that that combination. And yeah, I mean, sure, could Collision be way better? Of course. That goes without saying. It's been awful pretty much since Punk left. It's been mostly just job matches and people that we don't care about for the most part. But Ricky Starks is someone I do care about. So I am curious about his progression as a wrestler. So that's all I'll add to that. Robert, you got any comments on Ricky Starks and Big Bill before I move on to AEW Dynamite? I didn't learn anything new about Ricky Starks, but Big Bill, for, for Big Bill, that was good. That was really good. So, yeah, I'm happy to see him getting some airtime. I mean, I'm hoping this could work out for him. Keep it going. Keep him out of the emergency room with alcohol okay. withdrawal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was sounds pretty dreadful. All right, well, listen. So that's it for Collision. There was a Keith Lee match. Keith Lee also had a match with Lee Moriarty, which I thought was okay. If they could keep pushing him, okay. Tony Khan seems to keep kind of starting some ideas and then just forgetting them. So I'm not really even going to go through his match or anything. I want to see if they're actually going to continuing it on and doing anything with him. So other than that, that'll be it for my Collision review. I know I'm the only one who really watched it out of the three of us. I don't really have a grade or anything. I'll just say that at least there was something in it. It made it worth watching. Edge, pretty much. Mm. I think the Edge segment and that production yeah. botch. And I haven't really seen anybody mention it on the internet, but I'm happy to point it out. As anybody could point out, if there's any production botches on my end on this show, if anybody wants to point it out and make fun of me, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but that'll be it for this segment. We'll be back. We're going to review AW Dynamite from this past Wednesday. 
the 29th, November 29th. So that'll be our next video. Stay tuned for that one. Subscribe to our channel. Hit like. Please help us out. Give us some support. We need some subscribers. We're trying to make some money here. See you guys on the next video.